and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crop out the horse image right here and replace the background with a different image. It's really simple. There's the lasso tool right here and you're going to click it and hold it down and you're going to get the polygonal lasso tool. It's the second one down. And you just start somewhere over here. You click, click, click and what you're doing is you're creating anchor points so you just click along the entire edge and if you want you could zoom in and that makes it a little bit easier to select more fine detail what you can do too is you can just go ahead and crop it out first kind of rough and then once you replace the background you can either feather or dither the edges a little bit to kind of make it blend or you could zoom all the way in and make some minor touch-ups. I'll show you that in a, in a second here. Let me go ahead and finish cutting this little guy out. Okay, it's going to get kind of tricky around the eyebrows or eyelashes and different areas like this. You're going to have to kind of go in and make sure you don't double click because if you double click it will actually create a selection going all the way across sort of like that but you don't want that. And let's go around his lips here bear with me and I'm actually clicking at each one of these points to create an anchor and click click and it's easier for the the kind of the more rounded or the longer areas and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see a little circle appear and you're gonna click that and it's gonna create a selection around what you just did now right click on the layer and select duplicate layer and you don't have to name it um, just leave background copy is fine if you want to name it you can always double click in here and call it horse whatever you want to call it now hide this layer and select inverse and let's go ahead and hit the delete on your keyboard and now hit control D or you could do select deselect control D select. now we have this horse it's cut out of the background you can see here where the original background was and now you have this horse and I went ahead and got some parchment paper just kind of add a look to it so I'm just going to drag that in and see how it's in front of the horse it's not really in the background well, that's because it's in your hierarchy here in your layer palette it shows the parchment being above the horse so if you click and drag it down until it becomes a double line let go and it'll actually move that parchment layer behind so then let's go ahead and transform this Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see I'm working with a smaller screen here just roughly take it out double click on it and now you have parchment behind your horse you don't have the uh, original forest woodwork or whatever that was back there now if you just click if you see here you're gonna actually see that little black area right there where it's kind of rough it's kind of you know we kind of roughly clipped around it so what you can do now is you could select on your multi your magnifying glass tool and you can zoom in real far on that and it'll show you exactly how rough it is so let's go ahead and hit the polygonal lasso tool again and let's clean some of this up I'm not gonna do the whole thing it's gonna take forever but I'm just gonna show you an idea and once again I'm clicking as I'm going so it's click go click go click go and you can either meet back up at the original point or you could double click out here somewhere just double click and it'll make that and then you just hit delete on the keyboard oops sorry I was on the wrong layer I want to make sure that horse layer now click delete and it'll clean up that edge so it's a nice white edge now and there's a little bit more right here too so let's go ahead and clean that up real quick the polygonal lasso tool let's start here click 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 let's keep on clicking around and like I said it could be it doesn't have to be exact because there's different effects that you could actually add that will give it more of a, a blended look and go ahead and hit delete once again and let's go ahead and zoom out unselect it and now it's looking a lot more clean 
So what you want to do too is you can actually hit your blur tool here and make sure that your brush shape is actually dithered. Let's make it pretty big. A little bit bigger than that. Okay. Now here's strength. And let's go ahead and drop the strength to about 25%. You could type in here too if you want to just type in 25. And just kind of really fast kind of go and outline this entire thing. I mean, just as rudimentary as you don't have to be exact at all. Just kind of what it does is it feathers the edges a little bit. You can see how it's starting to feather the edges to kind of give it a smooth, smooth look to it. And actually, 25%. Let's go ahead and make it 50%. Just, just so you can get a little bit more of a clear picture of exactly what this tool does. See how there's a hard edge here. Well, as you click and drag over it, it, it starts to smooth it out. And it's smoothing it out. And let's go back to the main size. Now, what you could do too, because it kind of looks flat right now, is you could s make sure your horse layer is selected. Click on the um, layer effects and choose a drop shadow. And this little screen here pops up and uh, like I said once again I'm working on a kind of a smaller screen here so I'm just gonna try to drag this over here so you can still see what's going on and we have your drop shadow and we have your drop shadow attributes over here now what I want is I want the actual drop shadow to be facing outwards this way so because if it was facing this way to left to right you it would be kind of a waste because there's really not a drop shadow there so let's go ahead and angle it up and increase the size and increase the distance and let's drop the opacity down some and then click OK now you can see here where we missed the cutout parts so let's go ahead and just zoom in and fix that real quick because uh, it's kind of bugging me so click 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 and you remember once again you're creating anchors here and you can be as precise as you want and depending on the actual what you're trying to cut out some things should take quite a while to cut out and uh, after you do it for a while you'll get used to it though so now we have this horse he's against the background the parchment background is cut out now he's its own individual layer the parchments individual layer so you can put anything back there you could actually take the parchment if you want and go back here and you can create a new layer and let's go ahead and fill it with black use our fill tool if it'll ever open up there it is and let's just drop black in there and then click on your parchment and let's go ahead and just experiment with some of our layer styles or layer effects let's start going poof the arrow down and just start dropping it down until you get the desired effect that looks pretty cool so let's go ahead and stick with that one real quick okay and that's pretty much it that's uh, how to cut an image out using your polygonal lasso lasso tool uh, the reason I did a horse is because we're equineandcountry.com and we primarily design things for the horse industry so if uh, you have any questions feel free to visit our website or email us and we'll be more than happy to help you out hope you learned something and uh, we'll see you uh, around the horse shows Take care.